his first State of the State address laying out his priorities. Yeah, one of them would create union optional zones in Illinois. News 3's Matthew Norton learned tonight those unions consider those fighting words, right? They sure do, and that's because they would take away a lot of the union's power. So crane operators, bricklayers, and concrete finishers are already giving this governor an earful. This was the welcome Governor Bruce Rauner got in Champaign after saying two days before that local voters should be allowed to set up right to work zones in their community. The states that are really growing don't force unionization uh, into their economy. People are, can choose whether to be, join a union or not. I believe that's the right thing. And I'm not advocating that Illinois become a right to work state. I do not advocate that. Right to work has got to go. Hey, hey. So what's the difference? Making Illinois a right-to-work state would take away unions' power throughout Illinois, even in Chicago. Right-to-work zones would just be in pockets of the state where voters approve them. Union supporters point out it's hard to form a union under the current system. At Continental Tire in Mount Vernon, workers have tried to unionize several times failing at every attempt. There is no union up there. There are coal mines operating in southern Illinois which are union free. Um, what, what's the need for this? But Governor Rauner projects at least 61,000 jobs would be created in the state if certain regions voted for right to work zones. Or what I call employee empowerment zones in their areas to attract businesses so that we can compete with Indiana and Michigan and Tennessee and Texas that don't have forced unionization like we do here. Magny studied labor issues for years and disputes that unions are job killers, but he's not very worried about Rauner's plan becoming reality. I think that it's really a political ploy on, on the part of the governor. I think that uh, various people uh, have said that this proposal is dead on arrival. I think it's true. Because Democrats are in control of the General Assembly. Magny believes this is probably a negotiating tactic for the governor as he sets the stage for talks with Democrats about getting Illinois out of its deep financial hole. Matthew Norton, News 3.